guitar enthusiasts, I have a great Christmas song here. It's Feliz Navidad by Jose Feliciano. Let's talk about the chords we're gonna be using. We're mostly gonna be using an A chord, a D chord, and a G chord. So all of our choruses, it's just open chords. Now on the verses, we do have a B minor that comes in, but it only comes in twice throughout the entire song. So it's not really a huge deal. And if you're not proficient with bar chords, that's okay. I got a couple easy fixes for you to help you get through this song. So the easiest way to play a B minor chord is to do your first, second, and third fingers on an angle. So it kind of looks like a really squished C chord. So first fingers on the second fret of the first string, second fingers on the third fret of the second string, and then the third fingers on the fourth fret of the third string or G string. All right. So if you just play that, it sounds a lot like Hotel California, because that's the chord Hotel California starts on, I think is a B minor. We have this little B minor chord. All right, if you would like to get a fuller sound, you can move the third finger up to the third fret on the D string and put the pinky right below. Just gives you a slightly warmer sound, a fuller B minor chord without having to do that full bar. So in this song, we're going from a D chord into a B minor. So if you wanted to do that easy B minor, you'd move the first finger down, okay, all the way to bottom string, second finger would slide up, third finger would slide up then you'd have the easy B minor chord, okay? So you, you just wanna try playing those bottom three strings. It's not gonna sound as full or as nice as a full bar chord, but it will help you get through those two points where you have to touch upon this B minor. So I'm gonna give you three strumming variations. When I play this song, I would typically vary between two of them, but the easiest one is going to be one, two, and three, and four, and. So if I play a G chord, okay, it would be one, two, and three, and four, and. So that's down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Again, one, two, and three, and four, and. So that's gonna be the timing that we're gonna use. And you could use that strumming pattern for the entire song. It would sound perfectly fine. It's gonna sound like this. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y e felicidad. Okay, and on all the ends of these courses, we're gonna be doing a little mute like I just did there, which is you play a D chord for one measure. And then you play a down strum on the one beat and then immediately mute the guitar with your fretting hand. So it's. See how I'm using my fretting hand to just touch the strings and it completely kills the sound. That's how we're gonna mute the guitar. So that's option one. Option two, I kinda like using option two and three. So for the verses, I will typically, the part where it goes, I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I feel like that's like a little bit more oomph to it. So I like to have a little bit more of a lively strum. So I would either do this one here, which the first one I just showed you, or this one, which is a little bit harder because it's syncopated. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, and, and four, and. So it's the same strum I just showed you, except we're not doing a down on the third beat. So it's one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and. But if you notice my strumming hand, I'm still strumming down on three. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. I think this works really well on the verses and don't worry we're going to do a full playthrough for you guys here too we're at the, i think on the verses it sounds really great i want to wish you a merry christmas i want to wish you a merry christmas i want to wish you a merry christmas from the bottom of my heart and again 
again, we have that mute on the very, very end there. So I like using that for the verses. And then on the choruses, I kind of like opening the strum up even more. So we're gonna remove yet another downbeat. So now we've removed the downbeat on the three, we're gonna remove the downbeat on the two. So for some of you, this might be tricky because we're gonna have to do multiple up strums in a row without a down in between. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so it's down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, one, and, M four, M one, and, M four, M. Now for syncopated rhythms like this, I often tell students, put the pick down, try and clap it. Okay, and then bring your pick, once you get the timing down, bring it back to the guitar. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. I think this works really well on the choruses to kind of open things up and then you get to that Merry Christmas part and you switch over to that down down up strumming powder it gives it a nice little spice so what I'm gonna do so you guys can have something to practice with I'm gonna do a little playthrough it's only a couple choruses and a couple verses very very simple song structure and um, I'm gonna play through with those two different strumming patterns if you need to use the settings cog to slow things down feel free to slow me down but we're gonna take it from the top so we got one, two, one, two, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Prospero Año y Felicidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad. this fairly simple Christmas song. I do have an entire Christmas playlist right over there that you can go check out. And I do have a Christmas course. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to go and check that out.